Hey there, and welcome to Sports Card Teachers. Today, we're going to be talking about our very first show that we did. Ralphie Boy and I did our very first show in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. We weren't sure what was going to happen, but we just went for it, and we did it, and we found some success. We learned a lot as well. Hopefully, you're going to stay tuned, so we'll give you everything you need to know about the show, maybe give you some pointers for if you're thinking about doing your first sports card show. We definitely had a great experience. Before I forget, this video is sponsored today, so I'm gonna to get to that sponsor in a second, but before I do, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like button for this video for the YouTube algorithm, that really does help us out. We just wanna be helpful to the sports card community, so please go ahead and do us that favor. Let's get into it. All right, just a quick little background if you're unfamiliar. We both have been collecting when, since we were really young. We stopped for years and the pandemic happened and we were keeping an eye on things. We wish we would have gotten in whenever things really got hot during the pandemic, but really starting in 2023 is when we really started to say, you know what, let's turn this hobby into a potential business. Both went at it, seeing what we could get for the things we had from our childhood, just years in the past, the cards that we've had. We Then we decided, you know what, let's start buying newer stuff. And so that's what we ended up doing. So over these last couple of months, we've really been putting together a decent amount of cards. We've been sending cards into PSA. If you watched before, we do a lot of reveals on here. And so um, we've been doing that. We sell on eBay primarily. I sell a little bit on Facebook and a little bit on Mercari, but uh, primarily we are selling on eBay. So we were like, why not try a card show? And that's what we did. So before I get into the specifics of how the card show went, what we learned, let's quick go over a quick review of Preza, our sponsor for today's video. And here is my case and it's full of cards. So it's really heavy. You can see the nice design here. It's lightweight, it's carbon fiber. While we were at the show, I really thought we had the nicest looking case. It was probably one of the bigger ones I saw because we did get the extra large, but you can see Preza there on the screen. It does come and it has six digit locking feature. So you can lock your stuff up. It opens real nicely. I'll go into more details later in a later video. Definitely a great product, super happy with it. So thank you so much to, Pre to Preza. You can buy them on Amazon. They have a variety of options for you. This is the extra large, just in case you were wondering. You can buy them on Amazon, but you can also buy them directly from their website because their website, they gave us a code for the website, so you can, can get 10% off your order if you use our code. I'll put that up on the screen, and then I'll also link you in the description below if that is something you think you might be interested in checking out. All right, so back to the show that we did in Harrisburg. We set up, we did one table. It cost us $45, so we just split that right in half. We got there about an hour and a half early to set up because we didn't know what we were doing. Really what happened was the first three hours, we were hot, we were selling crazy, especially that first hour, people were coming around. We really had some really good conversations being able to talk to people, but the first three hours, it was nine to two, were great. The last three hours, a little bit on the slow end. That's to be expected, people come early, but. I also think if you're someone who goes to a show, it might be a good idea to go later in the day because maybe you might not find the perfect things that you want, but I could see that people, that sellers were more looking to give a deal. So if you came towards the end of the show, you might've been able to get stuff on much bigger discount than you would have at the beginning of the day just because they wanted to get as much profit as they could. But uh, so if you're looking to go buy or go to shows to buy, then definitely go towards the end of the show because I think you're gonna find more opportunities. All right, so which sport was the most popular? We were surprised by this, but baseball was definitely king. The most interest were in baseball cards and probably the least interest was in basketball, which was surprising. Football was probably in the middle there. Football is what we primarily have, we have the most of, but we are starting to trend and get into more baseball stuff. When it comes to slabs, so we had a bunch of slabs. I had done a bunch of, I had used, PSA had a bunch of deals where you could get slabs for $16 instead of $19. And so I sent a bunch of cards in and we found out that slabs don't sell as well as raw cards. Raw cards were what were selling the most. And really what we saw, I think over even over rookies, it was really inserts. People were looking for inserts and numbered cards. So those were the 
the hot items that you thought people were really interested in. The question is, should you price your stuff out? Should you leave it up for offer? We priced everything out just because it's our first show. I wanted to be certain what a ballpark price, what I really wanted to get, but there were people who don't price things out. And so you just haggle with each other, but we price things out. People are on their phones. So you can't expect people not to be on their phones. They're looking at stuff, pull their phones. They're going on eBay. They're going where they find and are looking for comps. So you want to make sure that you keep that in mind. The other thing is we talked, I already mentioned it. The PSA tens are really what sells. Maybe you want to put your eights, nines, your things that aren't as valuable. You might want to put them in a separate box. It just is going to allow for more room on the table, more room to focus on the tens so people can really see them much easier. Uh, but we'd probably suggest that you maybe, or next time we're going to probably put our eights and nines in a box. That way people can go through them if that's what they're interested in. But primarily if people are looking for slabs, a lot of them are looking for tens. When it comes to the crowd, there were some young kids there, some dads and, and their kids. Uh, we would probably say that the highest population were older men. There weren't many women there, but it was older men were probably the highest population, but it was cool to see some dads and their sons, maybe their dads introducing their sons into the hobby. And so that's something else that we saw. All right, so how did we do? Well, first of all, we avoided a ton of fees. On Mercari, on eBay, you're gonna expect about a 13% fee. If you sell on Facebook, uh, PayPal Goods and Services, around 4%, I think. I, I forget exactly what that percentage is, but if you want to avoid fees, then card shows is the way to go. Not only those 13% fees, but the shipping, you don't have to deal with that. And as we all know, cash is king. So it is nice to primarily deal with cash. We did have our Venmo and PayPal available, but no one used that, which I thought was interesting. Now I also brought some starting lineups from my childhood and I've done a video on that as well. So you can definitely check that out. Other collectibles, there wasn't, wasn't a whole lot of that at this show and there wasn't a whole lot of interest that we really saw. The question you're probably watching and we wanted to tell you how we did. So we paid $45 for our table combined between us. So a little over 20 for each of us to be there from nine to two. And I did just under $400 worth, which I'm happy about. I was hoping to be over a thousand. I thought there might be a chance I could sell a thousand dollars worth of stuff product, but I did just under 400 and Ralphie boy did, I believe just over 500. So if you think about that 900 between the two of us paying 45 total for our table, definitely a success for us. We want to continue to do it. So the next show I believe is in February. So we're planning on doing that show, same show in February. And we actually heard that the December show, for whatever reason, I personally thought people would be spending money. It's around Christmas time presents, but supposedly the December show is probably one of the weakest shows or where the least amount of crowd and money is spent. So definitely a good sign to know that we made $900 on a down, what is supposedly a down show in December. So if you're thinking about doing your first show, please let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you're thinking, where you're located, how much it costs, and we'll respond to you and just give you some feedback, let you know if we think it might be worth it for you to, to do it. Maybe tell us what you're trying to sell. We'd love for you to go ahead and once again, subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hopefully you're going to come back and watch because we have some more PSA reveals coming up shortly. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.